This week's Gun of the Week is actually a classic American infantry arm from World War II. If you've seen Band of Brothers, you've seen this gun. This is the U.S. Carbine Caliber 30 M1A1. This is a gun that was developed specifically for the American Airborne during World War II. There's also a rising submachine gun, but we're not going to talk about that right now. In May 1942, this gun was adopted specifically for use by American paratroopers. The M1 carbine is only 36 inches long or so, but it was a little much for jumping, so they developed this. Now this is a wire stock uh, with a little bit of leather here and a cast butt pad. What you can do is fold the whole thing up like that, and actually the American Airborne had a holster. They would actually put this thing in a holster and jump out of aircraft. So in addition to the folding stock, you also get a pistol grip. And you'll actually see that there is provision for attaching the sling here on the bottom below the pistol grip. And of course, even with the stock folded, the gun can still fire, although I'm not sure how accurate you're going to be. Now the M1A1 is actually a fairly rare version of the carbine. During World War II, more than 6 million M1 carbines were manufactured, but there are only 140,000 M1A1s. All of the M1A1s were made by the Inland Division of General Motors. Now, Inland was one of the main makers of the carbine. They made 2.6 million carbines during World War II, and they're the only contractor on the M1A1. So if you see an original M1A1 with other than Inland on the receiver, that means it was either put together or it could be an arsenal overhaul. Now, this is a delightful gun because it has some great early features. You've got no bayonet lug here in the front. You've got a first pattern barrel band. You have a two rivet hand guard. You have the flat bolt that's typical of early M1 and M1A1 carbines. And of course, you have the flip sight. Now, this does have one later part on it, and that's the rotary safety here. There are a lot of problems with the early safeties on the M1 carbine, of course, because, well, in the dark, when you meant to turn off your safety, you could actually eject your magazine. Now, like the regular M1 carbine, this is a gas-operated semi-automatic carbine. It uses a short-stroke gas system developed by Winchester based on Carbine Williams' principles. Uh, this gun actually weighs a little more, about five and a half pounds, as opposed to five pounds, one ounce uh, of the regular carbine. But really, this is a gun that saw a lot of action during World War II. When you think of Normandy, when you think of Operation Market Garden, the Battle of the Bulge, Anywhere the American Airborne was fighting, this gun went with them. For more on guns like the M1A1, go to AmericanRifleman.org.